Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Porto Braz, uh, where my audio should now be reasonably uh, consistent. Well, apart from when I, like, physically, through my throat, mess it up. Which, yeah, that, that's acceptable. Now, I was looking into what the hell, yeah, we could do piecewise here, but Cologne doesn't give a crap. Just doesn't give one donkey dick. About, I mean, this would take the cape. Not I'd want the cape, but the cape would cost 31 war score to take. You know, this one province. So it surely should be worth. Yeah, maybe that must be where we get our entire free war score from. Nope, the cape is worth 0 0.4. Yes, it is worth more than the majority of them. But a lot of our occupations are worth nothing. And that, to me, is just bollocks. Absolute hairy, smelly, sweaty bollocks. And there's no way that my complete and utter dominance... There's no point sieging this freaking city up. Crap up. There's no way my complete and utter dominance... Fair enough, France is getting beaten the crap out of. But basically, I would say that Col Col to get me out of this war so that Spanish La Plata, uh, New Portugal, Spanish Louisiana, Spain itself, you know, to free up all of that to then refocus itself on France. That should be something they want. When I think clear offer, I can't suggest offer, I could offer tribute. Which they'd want 10% of my income. 126 ducats. It's just bollocks. Basically, I have to offer at least 15 war score. Now, 24 of that is length of war, but unless I get to 10 war score, I can never make any sodding demands. And because I can't make any demands, it doesn't matter how cheap, like, um, for instance, super peace, land, war score costs. I mean, even three of these, three bit, little, crappy little bits of land, all I've sieged up and it's worth freaking nothing. I hate the Eurocentric nature of this game sometimes. I can guarantee you if I was in a war with them at the moment and they'd sieged up just like Brazil. Sorry, not Brazil. My, my little bits of Brazil over here and my vassals. They would want so much for that because this is European land. Oh, I best start a timer. But Short of, I think, unless I sieged up Cologne itself, which was a 40 stack, was a 60 stack, was a 60 stack. It's just... It's gonna happen. I can keep this area, you know, secure. Sweden is not my vassal, are they? No. In fact, they've already negotiated out. Yeah. The Waskar I had with them... France gave away, and that might have actually been the better chance I had at getting a piece. So screw you, France. As soon as I can wipe peace out, I am. And watch, well, I say watch the war score fall against you. They have 51 against the French Antilles. They have minus 99 against me. How is it minus 99 and free at the same freaking time? Which is it? New Portugal, France actually has a positive war score with. That's Francie directly into it. Yeah, they have that one. Oh, they get eight for that. If I was to hover over myself. Yeah, I apparently have 99 war score with. So what is modifying it to get to this free? 
Obviously, there's some numbers going on somewhere which we're not seeing. <laughs> Tech. I'm not going to need anything for a peace deal, so... Being that we are behind and we're getting a good neighbour bonus, we might as well take you. Uh, I believe we position ourselves... Let's see, who aren't we at war with who's on this main continent? Great Britain. And that's basically it. I'm going to have a huge truce, most likely, unless I can wipe peace out. So let's take these troops. You're doing things there, that's fine. Right, you guys. And I'm going to want... That's 10 armies at a large, but that's a 13 stack, which I wouldn't mind killing. So let's actually leave that there. You... Come here. We may... Split you in half, and then you can get these two. I'll need a boat to take you. Right, up here, it'd basically be all of you minus the ones who are doing the... You're colony stomping, aren't you? Yeah. You guys aren't. You're currently doing something. But 13 colony stuff here, that's, that I'd want to be took, and I think I'd rush that, and then we'd rush north to Newfoundland. Now, as much as war score I can get with that, I'd be able to take it. But again, France is also in a terrible state. Would declaring on France, if I wipe peace out, become a I'm I Regency Council. I can't declare war. Each other ten years. There's no point in hell at me planning for war. Yeah, everyone's starting to improve relations again. Um, he's arriving. New elector. Yeah, you really need to put some more electors in there, mate. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to get any imperial authority. Uh, Mr. De Fuego. That means I can call all of you somewhere there. I'm going to have to work out my armies again, but... Um, he's all arriving somewhere. You're still coming out here to South Georgia Islands. Really? You're losing ships? You are losing ships. Okay, create a new unit. Can't because you've got troops, so I'm just going to have to deal with losing them ships. There we go. I hate that movement stuff, but... Training fields are nicely built. Good. If I do go to war with Great Britain... We're at minus 10. Let's try and improve relations. If we could get Munster, that'd be a very short landing pattern. I could look at outclassing the British army and you know, dealing with them that way. Your allies are Spain. So actually, that'd get me away getting back to war with Spain and hopefully taking some land from them as well. Bravant and Cherokee. That looks like it will be our war. You're only 6,000 to march through there. Actually, you guys. You're four, so you're definitely not rebel stomping. 
Come here, you stop here. Come here, you stop here, wait for them and then we'll have you. Yeah, fight these guys. Didn't realise we had rebels. So close to hand. Yep, even more. <laughs> have I been lowering all of my autonomies again? It would appear so, because there's nowhere I can do it. And you could raise it in places. That's fine. We, we, we currently don't have anyone to fight, so they can rebel all they like, and I'll just freaking crush them. You guys have arrived home, and I think that's the entirety of the army now. Actually, if you're going to just march straight into there, just send a reinforcement straight away. Arrived in South Georgia. Now you guys... Make a dash... For Rio de la Plata. You're at 7%. Sweden wants military access. Go away, Sweden. I hate you. Right, Norway, are you at the point where I could annex you if we weren't at war? That might have been where I wanted the Diplo points, actually. I think you are. And probably for Finland as well. Finland does have a claim and a core. Norway, there's nothing else I can feed them. Oh yeah, and I already have Orkney, which is Norway. So as long as I could keep that straight going, I could stage how many troops in you? Mmm, a 46 stack. Might be enough, I don't know how large the... France even has armies in Great Britain. I don't actually know how large the British army is. <laughs> Largest army of the world, guys! <laughs> Only 80,000, so if I could come at them with 100,000 on the mainland and still have you know, reasonable armies to deal with the colonial stuff... The thing is, I'll have to do all of this again. As you say, unless I get them into the war first, but no, Spain then wouldn't be able to be in the war, which I was with Great Britain, so... And I'd want f f Spain in the war so that I could then separate peace from them and take lots of land. Right, try not to grab the little two stacks. All of you come here, because I think that'll be good supply limit, and I'll reorganise you. There's six of you here. Feel free to use the transports if you think that'll be quicker. You're actually correctly constructed. You dive on him, you guys. And I'll start looking into sorting your composition out. You guys... Right, we do need to recap our manpower. Regain our manpower. It's plus 95 for how much money? 250. In the capital, though. Screw it. Twenty-six, 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 thirty-six, 26, 26, 36. And we run out of money. It's not points which are a problem, it's money. I think for small countries, I don't know, small countries points is even less of a problem. But yeah, I'm looking for length of water. I have no diplomat to send. Improving with Munster, improving with Norway, improving with Finland. Well, Finland's the least likely that I want to annex straight away, so let's bring you back in. And I think I want to bring Munster into the fold before I 
And actually, taking Munster would be quite poetic almost because it defected from Portugal. Portugal took that land from Great Britain and it became... Well, I took that land as Portugal, didn't I? So the fact that it'd be coming back under my personal control means I would have won it twice and never lost it. Lots of armies arriving. I'm going to ignore that for now, though. Yeah, I need to be the big, loomy, scary thing on... Off the coast of Europe. We've got 150-ish years, maybe? Almost precisely. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to be in control of all of Europe. Purely because... No, not that I couldn't see myself occupying all of Europe. That could be a possibility. Declare war in every... And occupy all of them. But actually being able to get the peace deals in place to take enough of their land quick enough? No, it's just... It's not going to happen. You can't take large enough sways of land. You guys merge up. Create new. And it was four... To four, select this, create new four to four. Cancel you out, move you to Probably just up there, for now, out of the way. And I think the distribution of the troops is fine. You know, this is going to need a lot, but I think the rest of you are going to be stationed down here because I'll most likely be at war with Spanish La Plata again. Three something percent. Minus ten. Concession defeat it is. I'm going to lose ten prestige. I'm going to annoy Lorraine, Denmark, French Canada, basically the French vassals. I don't care. France, you've lost this war, and there's no way for me to get anything I like out of it. Which means all of this is now on... Actually, I might have wanted to hold on to that until I could get my own war going. But it does mean that... Let's talk to Norway in 40-odd days. Now, Diplomat to send. That should stay reasonably capped. It's only going down by one a year, so that's fine. Merge you guys up. Three, two, four. You guys actually come down here. You're one infantry, so that's actually perfect, which means you guys are not going to get fully reinforced if you go there, so you come here. Or not fully reinforced, you're not going to be made into proper armies. There's not going to be the troops there to do that. You are a perfect half stack. Now this you know, is just going to be France's end. I... What we should be seeing is the complete and utter death of France. Like this should mean... Spain getting all of its land here. I mean, if we look, Spain has cause claims. Spain should be able to get all of that, no problem. Savoy? The Savoyards, I would expect to see, like, with province and stuff in their culture group. 
Okay, Tungo, you can reconnect if you like. Um, all of this, I mean, for Christ's sake, the, definitely the Netherlands should be appearing in one form or another. I mean, Berg has claims here. Liège has claims there. So many people who are in this war against France. You know, I have claims and crap on them. But I almost think that they're going to get sod all out of it. You're too damaged. Let's take you off the auto transport. And order you two to be taken there. And it'll find some transport fleet to do it. Please say you're not sailing away before you can walk out. Okay, he's walking out good. Nate is rising. Oh, no. Okay, you're now all taking way too much attrition. Four. Two. Four. Select this. Two. <laughs> four. 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 Two. Four. Select this. Now we should be getting close to a proper sized unit with this. Just close. Now there should be one which is a lot smaller. 412, yeah. So let's select you. And. For now, put you there. So these guys. I'm going to need to station some of them around here for rebels' duties. No. No, just sodding. There's a button to force. What, uh, the water transport. Why isn't there a button to force? No. No, don't take the sodding transport. Yeah, that's, that's all of them sorted. You are protecting trade. Oh, it's on a trade mission. You can't stop that, then. Well, wait, so I can do that and just put it straight back on its freaking trade mission. What's the difference? Yeah, 20 stack. Yeah, only 10 is really needed up there. Let's send you further north. And you can actually come here because that's bordering with both of them, I think. Okay, that's going to leave you with the ability for that to become a colony. And the armies I have here are hopefully going to be... Oh, crap. Um, troops here? I have no troops there. Oh, because all of you are meant to be dealing with these... Sodding Rebels. And actually in two years they'll be able to start enforcing better bands. So, yes, please get over there and deal with them. But I'm going to have 33,000-ish troops. So I would hope that's going to be enough to start killing them. I have a diplomat back. Can I start annexing Norway? I can. But let's look at... You first. There's ten reasons for no. Friendly attitude. Military trade power comparison. For military power comparison, plus 40. Base tax comparison, plus 30. If I could get some more Diplo rep, that'd be useful. Okay. 
Does that be you? Do you have a Diplo rep guy? Of course you don't. However, the better relations over time. I do feel will serve us better. While well, we're trying to get his opinion with us up and we'll take his trade power. In the meantime, start annexing Norway, which means we can actually pull you back from there as well and we can keep that as the diplomat who's free. A burg is a minimum you should siege and take. It's bad timing for you guys. In fact, just reset that, give him a chance. And you want a leader to deal with that. There we go. Yeah, I want to see France fall apart. They're my vassal, they're my ally, sorry. But I want to see them fall apart. Because they deserve to. And I actually have the points. I don't need to core any of you, so I'm going to avoid doing it. But buildings, military buildings, 18, 37. I'm going to spend the points because I don't have the money. Still going to try and spend them in the best places possible. I think that's it. So now it's for 20s. I oh know, we've run out of money again. Even doing the cheap ways, we run out of money. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, that's all the time we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.